sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way <laughs> you show up on the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know I got to remind people and warn people, I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. My name is Professor a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest, my priestess, all floating through that comment section. But I also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest, or priestess, is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you, or for you to be with them, they don't need you, and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. <laughs> parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you <laughs> and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a coworker, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. We have a lot of on-the-fence energy. You already know. Those that are members, I do uh, appreciate you all. I want to shout my members out, all my viewers, my supporters, those that send me healing energy and pray for me. I really do appreciate you. If you would like to become a member, look in the description box below or on the community board, and there will be a way for you to join there. For those that are already members, we're going to see you on the other side. Somebody's spying here. Now, somebody has some sort of addiction to toxicity. They like to be toxic. They like to be chaotic. Up until now, this person had a smile on their face. You see, because they were, I'm hearing gaining momentum. We got the nine of pentacles on the fence. <laughs> this is someone that is very competitive here. All right. Or at least they appear that way. I feel like this person wanted you to compete for them. This is somebody that's superficial, cocky. Okay. They are, I, I, I'm here full hearted. I don't know. This would also be somebody that'll pop off when they don't get their way. This, com this person is coming in with um, a back end apology here. Coming in, acting as if they have some information here, but this is someone that is possibly trying to spy on you and using the attraction that you have for them or had as a weapon. Now, for some of you, this could be taking place in your person's energy. Did I say, let's get in there like a swimwear? <laughs> let's get in there like swimwear. Interesting enough, when I finished the, uh, the last reading, my ring, I, you know, when I have to stop it like that, I take my rings off or wash my hands and do everything right. But when I put it back on, I put it up upside down. And I noticed that after I did the part two of the last reading. So the, everything is significant. OK, all the disruptions um, and it plays out by what comes out on the board. Somebody is mentally, emotionally manipulative. OK. This is also someone that's very abusive in nature. This is someone that when they get when they get a notion to do something here or to not do something, they get real cocky, they get real manipulative. This is somebody that will gaslight you with the Knight of Wands here and underneath that, that's the King of Cups. So for some of you, this is an older person. I was going to say gentleman, but I'm not even going to go there. This is an older person um, that has a sense of arrested development. This is someone that hasn't fully developed. They may have some psychological issues. Now, again, I am not a professional. Um, if you need to see a doctor for mental health, physical health, okay, uh, psychological health, help, go and seek the proper authorities. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. And this is to clarify something that you already know. Somebody is very childish in nature. For some of you, you could have a child with this person, but this person lacks maturity here. 
with the four of pentacles. This is someone that was holding on to your energy, but at the same time holding back. This person didn't offer anything but emotions. This would be someone that will drop in when they don't have nothing to do, but this is someone that expects you to be there. All right, this is someone that is self-centered, egotistical. They feel like they deserve everything for whatever reason. I don't know. The seven of swords is an indication of some sort of deception. Somebody felt like they were getting away with something. They may have felt like you were getting away and they wanted to punish you for that. Okay. This is a liar. This is someone that's sneaky. If they're in a relationship, they are a cheater. We got the Ten of Swords. So this is indication of multiple betrayals by this person or multiple people. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this person is in this energy of self-sabotage. So with this being on the fence like this, this tells me that this person is either going to attempt to do this or this is happening to them. Now, subconsciously, they know they were wrong. But this energy manipulation, this holding back, this is somebody that has a fear of change. They also have a desire for long term stability, but they have an ability to commit at least to one person. So this is someone that spread, spreads themselves very thinly. Now, somebody's facing some sort of bankruptcy, some sort of financial curse, some sort of debt. OK, so this person or even a poverty mindset. This person may have seen you as less than, unfortunately. So this person, while you were loving and nurturing and caring on this person, possibly giving your all, this person was being deceptive. I feel like somebody's being investigated. Somebody's investigating someone's financial status or what they do for finances. This is giving me greedy. So for some of you, this you this person may have had a front business, something that they fronted, but they did multiple things in the background. This person is an illusionist, a trickster. You may have tried to help this person with what I'm hearing with what little that you may have had, but they didn't. They didn't want that. This is somebody that wants a little bit of everything. This is also somebody that will reach. They'll make up things. This person lacks patience. They lack commitment. They're not committed to anything but financial gain. They will spy on you. They will lie on you. But I feel like somebody's investigating this person. This person may have some sort of freeze on their accounts. That's been coming up a lot lately. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Somebody's frustrated because you won't let them in. But you already sense this deception here. You possibly let this person in multiple times, especially if this is a child that you have with someone. I'm hearing a child of a narcissist. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. You know your story. Don't try to make it fit. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups clarifying the Page of Cups. So this is definitely speaking about someone that uses your emotion against you. This person may have some sort of psychic gift or they were seeking a uh, psychic or they could may even may even be intuitive. So somebody wants to come rushing in with an apology here, but it's only because they're facing some sort of lack. It's all an illusion. This person may be experiencing some lunacy. This person lacks nurturing, but they want to come in and as as if, you know, this would be somebody like, oh, we're family, we're sisters, we're brothers, you, you know, or something like that. They'll use that. They'll use that emotion, that love that you have for this person against you. For some of you, this could be somebody that you work with that may be telling you a story, but they're only telling one side of the story, the side that makes them look like the victim. Somebody's used to uh, using people to get whatever they want. You see this? Uses other people's resources. So somebody wants to come in, you know, if this is somebody that you work with or, you know, a co-worker or whatever, they want to <clears throat> they want to come in and apologize. So this person may be spying on you. They could be watching readings. They could be a reader. 
This has something to do with your foundation. This also has something to do with your lineage, your legacy, your ancestors. But this is definitely giving me someone that um, was manipulating the energy surrounding your home, your finances, your stability, your livelihood. This could also be a sibling or something that was holding back something from you that has to do with the passing. This is somebody that betrayed you or betrayed multiple people. I'm hearing it's already known, so there may be an investigation happening with this person. The Four of Pentacles, why is this here? Some of you, you or this person or someone involved may have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in the eighth house. Strong Scorpionic energy. It could also be their sun, moon, or rising. We also have, we got strong water sign energy. Okay. <clears throat> We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but when I use the the, uh, the the decks like this, I only like to call out the major arcana. So we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpionic energy, all right? The 11th house is Aquarius energy. We also have Leo with the sun, okay? But this could be an indi indication that somebody has a Scorpio sun sign, whether it is you or someone else. All right. The 11th house is talking about our goals, our achievements, our friend circle. Somebody was trapped in, a, in the past in repetitive thinking. OK, they're having anxiety about the past here. This person senses trouble because they have an intuitive nature. This is also, again, someone that I'm hearing they met their match. But but let me specify this. Their match is someone just as evil and sinister as them. I don't believe you were their match because this person played on your emotions in the past. But whatever they participated in with this group, with this affiliation or whatever, friend circle, sorority order, whatever, they know that there's some trouble ahead, possibly because they did a reading or paid for a reading. Now, these are the individuals that will turn on each other. All right. I'm hearing thick as thieves. So this is definitely speaking about somebody's resources, their stability, someone being stubborn. Someone not being practical. This is somebody that lacks pro productivity because they continue to, to do what they're comfortable with doing. This person will have a hard time ascending. Okay. We have Taurus energy that is grounded energy. So what I feel um, collective is if you are not a fixed sign, someone in this environment, in this group circle is a fixed sign, okay? Somebody could also have South Node and Taurus or Aquarius or somebody in this scenario does. So somebody is all in their head or they wanted you to be in your head here, okay? Not able to take action, fearful. That came out in the last reading because there was some sort of deal that was made. What's at the bottom here? The third house. All right, so some of you, you may have Cancer or Pisces or um, Gemini in the third house. We're going to go ahead and clarify this more. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Why is the eighth house here, please? Someone has this, like... Uh, Entitlement. They have an, uh, entitlement issues. Uh, this is the energy of uh, what's yours is mine and what's mine's is mine. They, they feel like people owe them. This is someone that has a chip on their shoulders. And they're not against betrayal either. This person has to be someone that is close to you or close to this person. Okay? Or they want to get close to you. We got the world card. Yeah, so this is a cycle that's complete. Somebody may not be able to connect with you is also what I'm getting. But this could also indicate someone sacrificing their psychic gifts, okay, or whatever they were doing to gain money is complete here because somebody is whole with seek. You're not seeking outside of yourself. You're not seeking validation. And this is what this person was wanting. This is about your creative endeavors. Somebody wanted you to feel powerless. You were dealing with someone that was power hungry, obsessive, and controlling. All right. Why is the sign card here? 
So somebody is going to gain some sort of revelation having to do with their finances. This person had a fear of change. So they continue to do the same things and expect different results. Now they're figuring out that whatever they were doing, whatever they were comfortable with doing, okay, uh, complacency didn't get them anywhere because that cycle is complete. That's an old paradigm. They were supposed to upgrade. So we're talking about a karmic completion. So somebody's definitely um, holding back. They may not be, or this person may not be contributing to these, this group or these individuals. They may have been researching or spying and realized something was happening with their finances here. Possibly the more that they contributed to these people, the worse off it got for them with fine balance. This is my cherubim card. So somebody gained some sort of wisdom. Yeah, they timed out distractions or they're being guided to or you are. This is about equal give and take, fair exchange, no robbery. You use me, I use you, right? This is what this is about. But somebody was given too much in a situation that was imbalanced. Somebody may have also sacrificed themselves to something that is not fruitful. This is given to an organization or given to a person. I feel like somebody was given to someone and then now they're realizing that they these individuals are the reason why their money flow stopped. Why they couldn't think straight. Sevens talk about investments, right? The things that we give. What's the seventh house? Yeah, this is justice energy. Somebody wasn't using their head. Now they're starting to use their head. For some of you, this is about a relationship or some sort of partnership. Could be a business colleague or organization or something like that. But somebody is realizing that they were investing in their own downfall is what I'm getting. Okay. This is something that was happening in secret. Somebody wanted somebody to feel isolated, distracted. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we got the sacral chakra. Interesting enough. The Psycho Shaka came out in the last reading. Again, this is a clarification that somebody was obsessed. They lacked creativity. This is someone that operated out of their lower chakras, their lower vibration, because this person is insecure. They have a fear of change, and somebody is realizing that. They weren't, they weren't going to grow. They were nurturing the situation instead of completing it. And now we're in this energy of tens. Completion. Somebody may be wanting to travel or they're able to travel after coming, like after they cleared their debt. This person may have found out something having to do with a spiritual practice also because the eighth house, that's scorpionic energy, right? So we're talking about joint, uh, joint finances. So most definitely this is going to resonate with a marriage, uh, a business, OK, an ending and a new beginning. But this is also an indication of lust of some sort. Right. So somebody may have been working out of their lower nature too much and they may be realizing that their energy was being drained and it was showing up in their life as financial loss. Somebody may have tried to make you the culprit here. The not, oh, that came out quick. Look at that. Ten of swords this way and ten of swords this way. Come on now. <sighs> Somebody could have left a situation, whether if it's a family or a, a business. Somebody may have also been terminated, but this could be an indication of a separation, of a marriage. OK, or somebody doesn't feel supported. Now, this person is grieving. I feel like once you disconnected from this energy, they started feeling it. OK, somebody feels left out. All right. Yeah, this person may have left you out in the past because they have a fear of commitment. You may have had some sort of abandonment issues. Maybe you dealt with this Knight of Wands type of energy your whole life. It could have played out in not only your romantic relationships, but in your family relationships. You just didn't feel supported. So this is the thing that you and this person or these individuals had in common. With the world card here, it's telling me you completed a tough cycle. The eighth house. Yeah, it fell right on. Yeah. If karmic completion. Somebody's debt is paid. And we still have the Seven of Swords energy. 
So this is someone that is possibly um, uh, wanting to attempt to betray you again. Somebody may have found out someone had an affair and that's the reason why. Um, they left a situation. Somebody may have found out something was happening funny with their finances. OK, you may have spoke a truth about that could be to your partner or to some sort of institution. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was taken from another and given to someone else with the three of wands here. Somebody was expecting or somebody's expect. I'm hearing a windfall. They're expecting some money or some uh, a message or something like that. But it's not coming with the tower being here. If somebody is in their north node with the star card being here, you healed. So whatever they were expecting is not is not coming to fruition. Is what I'm getting. The world card lines is here. Yeah, look at that. Somebody was expecting an offer or some sort of financial gain, and it's not happening. Okay, somebody may have been um, thinking that they were going to get some sort of partnership, whether if it's a business partnership or a romantic partnership with the two of cups here. Yeah, somebody thought that they were going to get your position, your throne. Ten of swords, why is this here? Somebody could have been offering money for someone to walk away from you or to keep something separate. Look at this. It fell right on top of each other. The emperor. So this is the emperor. They're going through their um, cleansing. And we keep having this emperor in the king of wands. So this is telling me this is a colleague here or somebody that's close to them that they are finding out that was a part of some sort of betrayal. But I'm hearing you warned them or they were warned. Somebody may have found out that their colleague or family member was sleeping around with their spouse. Excuse me, my son in the background. So somebody had to heal from this. The king of cups. Why is this here? This could also be somebody losing a business or a promotion or a, a position with the Hierophant being here. Definitely speaking about a loss of uh, a ranking or a loss of support. This person may be crying a lot. This is also someone that may talk about spirituality because somebody knows this person's secrets. This abusive person. This could have, this could be somebody that was in an abusive relationship, abusive marriage here with the emperor, empress being here. Somebody felt burdened by this king of cups on the fence. Okay, yeah. For some of you, this is a marriage and this is a soulmate, someone that you were sent this lifetime to work out some karmic debt with. I feel like for some of you, they may have been, they may have had a third party that they were possibly paying their, paying their bills or something like that. And they wanted to hold on to this person. Four of Pentacles, why is this here? Knight of Chalices. So somebody is definitely immature. I feel like this person feels they held back from the wrong person. Okay, somebody knew that you wanted a stable partnership with them. So they may have felt like you always be there. Okay. But yeah. Somebody may have also found out that somebody was was sleeping with someone that's close to them or a business colleague or something like that. Somebody may have did this for some sort of financial gain, some sort of gift, gift, a legacy or something. Yeah, six of cups. This is something that was a secret. There could be a child involved also. Why is the seven of swords here, please? Oh, come on, man. So, yeah, there was some sort of deception surrounding this nine of pentacles energy. Somebody wanted you to be single or, you know. Yeah. Somebody wants you to be single. We got the high priestess here. So this is telling me somebody wanted you. They wanted you to lose a position or this person wanted you to be stuck and wait for them. So they were very deceptive. OK. So now this person feels like they're being punished because you won't communicate with them or they don't feel a connection. They don't feel a connection with you with the Knight of wands being here. This person, yeah, they wanted you to feel isolated. They did, they wanted you to be single, but that cycle is complete. 
Most definitely. Somebody's walking away or somebody's set free from... Yeah, somebody's set free. But this person wants to come back so they could put you back in a negative headspace. All right, before I get out of here, let me get some parting messages for those that are in this energy. I will be clarifying these cards over on the membership side. So see you soon. I will also put a little clip at the end of this for those that are interested in joining the membership imagine solutions so this is the energy of focus on the solution not the problem we also got forgive but don't forget because this person they may have been trying to block off your crown chakra so you would forget using some sort of incantation look manifestation think things through look man come on man Somebody wasn't thinking straight, but they also wanted you to forget something. Okay, the deception, strength of weak boundaries or abuse of power. Laugh at your demons, but before you can laugh at your demons, you have to name them. So somebody didn't know that they had these strongholds. Somebody liked patience, that they're having bad financial health, because remember, all these came out on the side. So some of you, you need to make a plan and implement it. Maybe this person didn't do that or they had a plan, but they were being blocked off because they were too deceptive. We got, look, accept what is ending. OK, so somebody wanted to have control. And this was a part of this person's journey, this lifetime. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing to surrender, like surrender their ego, balance their ego. This person had an ability to take the lead. So for some of you, this person may see you as an issue because you had to operate in your masculine energy. If you are a male, you had to operate in your feminine energy. Take it how it resonates. I'll see you over there on the membership side. Deuces.